Hello Aquarians and cross watchers welcome to your video so this is a song by George Benson that I channeled and it's called give me the night I'll put the song with the lyrics in the description box below but it says give me the night I've already done a pre shuffle I think I kind of know where the reading is going um, I've said my prayers and I also want to be the first to let you know that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world and I want to thank all of you for being here and sharing your time and energy with me I truly value you and the divine values you so let's get into the Oracle part and see what wants to come out we have abundance okay so this will be for you personally I feel that you're attracting abundance you might even be in the yin energy the empress energy of attraction okay and I feel that you're attracting everything okay it's gonna be also the good which is great but you might attract a few things that maybe you don't want to track because everyone's going to be drawn to your um, your energy is what I feel like here anything else so what I'm trying to say is Aquarians you might have to weed out the ones who are not um, coming in the way you want them all right we have emotional release but it did come out it came out and flipped around in the reverse so I feel like you're not going to waste any time at all you're focused on attracting abundance okay attracting prosperity might be focused on your coins or whatever that is uh, that you're attracting in your life and I feel like you're not worried about any other energy that comes in less than what you want I feel like your boundaries are high your standards are high I feel like you only want to let someone in if they are the one the one for you okay um, and changes we have changes movement into balance because of self-love so you've been you've been on your self-love uh, working on yourself and I don't mean I'm not I'm not even talking about shadow work I'm talking about working on bringing good things into your life attracting good things into your life and um, who knows maybe with the song I channeled there's a person you know that you bring in but they uh, maybe they're the one for you maybe they're not maybe they're not maybe they're just the one who wants you to give them the night and you sort of give them the the goodbye okay I don't know anyway let's get into the tarot show me one to come out I'm gonna close out with Archangel Michael messages um, but I definitely feel you have abundance and that's what you're working on I feel that's what you're attracting all right so you might even attract someone who is attracted to your abundance you never know you got all kinds of people out here these days all kinds of people yeah <laughs> yeah this see I didn't want to say it but this Queen of Swords came out and uh, you're aware you're on a very your your sense of awareness is heightened and you work very hard okay look at this this is a lot of effort all right um, and you might even be you know having a lot of offers or opportunities or people who want to date you because we have that seven of wands and this is like fighting off all the other wands okay you know how they would say um, you know you're gonna have to beat them off with a stick well Aquarius you might you might be in an energy where you have to sort of beat them off with a stick and, and that means you're gonna have to weed out the ones you don't want so that you can have the one that you do want that's what I got a lot in the pre shuffle and so I didn't want to say it but the Queen of Swords came out anyway and that is your energy it's air energy it's Libra energy and we have Pisces energy here but it's in the reverse of the the hangman in reverse which means there's a lot of awareness that you've gained when it comes to who you're letting in your life okay and if it ain't the one okay the ace of cups reverse you're gonna know intuitively um, if it ain't the one you're not investing okay maybe you're not telling anyone that you might be keeping it to yourself but we have here in the recent past all right you might have moved on um, you might have moved on from from a situation and you know maybe you're trying to now bring in the right one the past is the past I have to clarify all that so don't even worry about it we'll see what comes out when I clarify 
Show me what crowns this. Show me what crowns this. Yeah. I can tell that you're really trying to move on from people who want to sort of um, maybe control you or, um, you know, just coming at you for sexual energy, okay? Because, you know, this, this, this um, strength card, we have Empress energy, all right? Um, but we also, it's, it's also a very good looking card, you know? goes here a lot wants to come out so I feel that you're definitely this is the thing all I can say is it's saying that you have a heightened sense of awareness all right you you can you can tell I feel a mile away you can spot the energy so I feel like your person who um, is really good looking I feel like your person that you have even maybe money and affluence okay and you just attract like everybody just wants to be with you and this is like you you don't want everybody you want you know this is the knight of pentacles and the reverse virgo energy but this is like i feel like you want to be with someone that has love in their heart i feel like a lot of you may want to settle down we have the queen of cups next to the em uh, the emperor there and the you know the wheel of fortune you want your person um, you don't want just someone to come in and date you and be gone. That's who this reading I'm picking up for. So the song is like the type of people coming to you who just want, you know, to the night. They just want to spend the night, okay, just be with you for a night. And you've already put a lot of thought into this, okay. You've put a lot of thought into this. You've raised your boundaries or you've already had them raised. And you, you're just not letting anyone come in who's not the one for you. And you probably have people even coming out of the woodwork. You probably have people who currently want to date you, people coming out of the woodwork who want to date you, but they don't want, they don't want to settle down, okay? They don't want to settle down. You know what you want, and you're not, you're not going to be lowered to what someone else wants with you. Give me the environment. These cards are slippery up here on this table. And I feel like some people are dealing with you, you're dealing with them and they're slick, because these cards are like moving everywhere and I feel like you've been dealing with some slick smooth talkers yeah yeah like that movie um, I don't know if anybody remembers it back in the day my cousin Vinny and she's like "Ooh, you're a smooth talker you are you are no you're not dealing with smooth talkers you're not alright yeah you're sending them on their way you're spotting these gaslighters. You're spotting these people who are coming toward you. Uh, just got nothing but mind games. Um, people from the past want to get with you. Okay. And they're broke. <laughs> they ain't got nothing. Look, I appreciate whoever um, whoever is, is resonates with this reading. Because you can spot it a mile away. And it seems like you are attracting a lot of people. But they're not good suitors. All right. And you're wanting... The right one all right the right one and you're you're attracting a little bit of everything but it's like oh, most of them are not the right one most of them are they're coming in with baggage or they're coming in to fool around um you know i don't know what it is you're not falling for it but you seem to be attracting it um you're like honey or something for these people uh <laughs> We're going to clarify. Anyways, it's it's just saying your standards are up. Be careful. Maybe it's even a heads up for all of it, but it looks like it's it's it looks like you've been like fighting them off basically, fighting off that energy of people who are wanting to come into your energy um, and not being correct, okay? Not being correct and you're only settling for the correct energy. Yeah. And maybe you're worried if you're going to have success, if you're going to find the right one. That's kind of where this is at. So I'm connecting with an Aquarian um, who is like, am I going to find the, the, the one for me? Because I, I, got, oh, I got a lot of people interested. I got a lot of people interested, but they're just not interested the way I want them to be interested. A lot of them have a lot of problems, issues. Um, they're just playing mind games, just trying to, you know romance or whatever 
or play some sort of game or even or, or get your money or something whatever it is that it's not you you see it so i don't have to you know maybe this is just you in the end you're wondering am i going to find am i going to have success am i going to find the right one am i going to find the the type i've been you know i've been dreaming about or the kind of person that i want or am i just going to find all these people like who want me to fulfill some sort of fantasy for them tell me about the queen of swords and i want to say queen of wands i feel like a lot of people are seeing you as a queen of wands um and you're not you know someone someone here is looking at you the to totally the wrong way and we have yeah you know what they're all about we have the moon card in reverse pisces energy in reverse but that's because you you're you're exposing these people too. you they might even be coming to you and you might even be saying to them straight out look i know exactly what you want and why you're here i'm not falling for it um you see through them you see through them and you do have people coming back from the like you have people who've already done you wrong coming back. What are these people thinking of? I'm talking to a very, you know, like you, you know, literally beating them off with a stick, okay? You're beating them off with a stick. And at, all along, you're like, when is, you know, the right one? You have lots of, I feel like you have a lot of people interested in you. They're just not... And you're and you see through them, and you know that they're not the one for you. Tell me about the hangman reverse. Yeah, seven of wands again. No, five of wands. You understand that there's a lot of people that they just want to come in and they just want to date you and move on. You're not interested in that. Whoever I'm connecting with, you're not interested in that. You know, these are the nine of wands type of people. They want to come in for a short time, but not a long time. And you've raised your boundaries. You don't want that. Whoever I'm talking to wants to settle down, okay? And you want to be with someone who wants to also settle down, the right person. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. So whoever I'm connecting with is most likely wanting to know when is the right one coming, yeah. Queen of Pentacles reverse. That's like the forever person, the person you can live with, okay? And I feel that's what you're looking for. I feel you have a lot of suitors, but you're just not finding the one who wants what you want. I see, yeah, the Ten of Cups reverse. Like it's like if you don't want, uh, if you don't want the long haul, or you don't want family with me, or whatever, I'm releasing you. I don't want just. I can see it right here. I don't want to just date and have sex. I mean, this is very clear. This is, this is so clear that somebody is speaking to me in all caps. Somebody is hollering this to me. Like, this is so loud coming through. Tell me about the strength card. High Priestess in the reverse. Okay, we also have this here in the reverse. All right, so there was you. It looks like you moved on from somebody in the past because you found you found something out. All right, um, you found something out. It could have involved a Leo, a, Leo, a Pisces, a Virgo. It doesn't really matter, but you found something out, um, and you just sort of moved on from that. Is what it looks like, and it's like maybe because of that, you can spot that energy right away right away and you're doing right by yourself but you have a lot coming in and you and it's coming in in the future i'm just gonna let you know also i still see more are going to be coming in towards you um for the wrong reason but we're going to get to the end and we're going to find out uh if the right one's coming here tell me about this yeah no longer interested in just somebody who wants sex moving on from that energy yeah you're being guided. We have Archangel energy here. So you're being guided. You're being protected. Okay, we have Sagittarius energy if you want signs. But it's Archangel. It's an angel who's here to protect you from that energy. And I can see very, very clear. You have boundaries. And you have people coming in. You're awoken. And basically, you're attracting the unawoke. <laughs> I can see it right here. You are awakened to 
this energy, we're always awakening. I, there's nobody who's ever going to live in this uh, earth, and you know, other than um, I'm not going to get into all that. But trust me, we're always awakening. We're always ascending, and you're attracting a lot of people who are not, which is very weird to me. It's very weird to me because they say you attract the energy you put out, but you're not putting out that energy. You have a very high boundaries, very high standards. Now, anyway, maybe not in the past. In the past, I'm not saying you didn't, but in the past, you got. I see. There's a hurt. There's there's a hurt. Something got exposed, and it was it was painful, and you moved on from it. But you're not in that energy, but you're still attracting. It's like you're you're. I don't know. I don't know if it's where you're at, but you're attracting. A lot of people that you have to let go of because they just want sex not love I don't know why that is uh, because your boundaries are up anyway tell me about this knight of Pentacles and the reverse Virgo energy tell me about that I see you right there three of Pentacles in the reverse all right so maybe you're going to be changing Hangouts, all right. Three of Pentacles is starting over, all right. Um, maybe if you were at a location or going to a place for a while, you know, and you're meeting the wrong kind of people, it might be changing a location, changing a job, changing a residence, changing a, a location is what I feel like. I feel like wh wherever you are meeting these kind of people, you're on, you're on the. You're on the heightened awareness here. You're like, maybe I need to change where I'm at, where I'm meeting these people. You know, if it's this town, let me get out of this town. If it's these, if it's, you know, I'm meeting, dating people from work, maybe I need to find people out of work. If it's online dating, maybe I need to stop online dating. You know, what, whatever it is, I see that in the future, here in the near future, you're going to change something, change a location of how you're finding these people. Uh, because it's like, if your go-to to meet people was this and you did it for a long time, Maybe you're putting it together. It's brought me the wrong type of energy, the wrong type of people. Maybe I need to change that, you know. Maybe I shouldn't go out to find somebody. Maybe I should go to another place to find somebody, you know. Something like that. It's just an analogy. All right, tell me about the Hermit card in reverse, Virgo energy. I feel like you've already done a lot of thinking about this, and I feel like you've already, um, you're ready to put yourself out there yeah so we have starting here small small increments it's a page of pentacles it's talking you know like i said something happened in the past there was some something that was exposed and it was painful you might now be ready to put yourself out there a little bit a little bit because you've went through something okay but again, like I said, it's like something is off, all right? There's, there's, these people, what's off, they don't want a relationship. These people aren't awakened. You've done all this change, and you got. it seems like you're attracting people who just want to flirt or have a good time. Like the song, you know, just give me the night. Tell me about the environment. We have the Five of Swords. Yeah. But your energy is like, I'm cutting you off. If you're just coming in, you want to get straight to bed, you want to move fast, you want sex, you're out. You're done. If you're going to be inconsistent, you're out. That's what I see here. Tell me about the the chariot is reversed, so I really see that you're moving on from that toxic type of energy. Um, cancer energy here, chariot reverse. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune reverse, Sagittarius energy reverse. Okay, if it if, if very strong. Okay, if they're coming in for sex, if they're coming in playing games, if they're coming in um, not wanting what you're wanting, they're just out. That's it. It's not it's not the right time. Even if it's the wrong timing, it doesn't matter. They're out. Tell me about the Nine of Wands, hopes and fears. So. You really don't want to draw in a player. You don't want to draw in with someone with baggage and it has to be fixed, okay? You want to bring in your happily ever after that you can grow, have a family, leave a legacy, have wealth and abundance together. 
So your fear is bringing in people like the past, but you're very hopeful and optimistic here of bringing in the right person. You will let your guard down for the person who wants forever. You will let that person in. And like I said, maybe you're starting to get back out there after, after a bad uh, breakup or something like that. And maybe you just started talking with somebody. Um, but depending on where the conversation goes, okay, it has to be going where they want to settle down. They don't want to be single. They, this is a, you, you're only going to open up to the person who wants commitment and who wants the same things as you want. Family, commitment, build a life together. Other than that, everyone else is getting shut down. So kudos to you for whoever this resonates with. You know exactly what you want. Tell me about the outcome, okay? Um, a lot of worry um, over will I be successful? Will I choose the right one? A lot of worry and stress over that. Thing is, it's like saying basically here, your standards are high. I have this here twice. The Seven of Wands um, with the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Your standards are high, okay? Now, you're worried that you're not going to be happy. This landed on the Six of Wands reverse, okay? That talks about success. You're worried that, you know, you're not going to find the one. You're worried that maybe you're going to be stuck in this sort of energy. But trust me, what you don't see is there's going to be somebody that you communicate with. I don't know if they're online or not. It's the Eight of Wands reverse. But somebody's going to say enough of something to you that you're going to question it. You're, they're going to make you think. That might be the person that has the potential because think about it. Everywhere else, you're spotting this mind game uh, a, a mile away. You're spotting this player a mile away. You're spotting this gaslighter a mile away. So if there is somebody who you can't stop thinking about, something that they said, that might be the person. If there's somebody who their focus is on you, that might be the person here. All right. So tell me about the Seven of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Seven of Cups reverse. You are going to have a choice. And it's going to be hard because you're going to be wondering if in your heart of hearts, and you're going to spend a lot of time alone thinking about this. Someone's going to put you in your head. So that, that, like I'm saying, you know, someone's going to put you in your head because they're probably going to say the right things. But if you're, you're spotting all that other energy off the bat that's not good for you, then this, this is like someone that's got you thinking. And, you know, you're not sure about this uh, family and children and if it can go there or if you should cut them off. But I'm seeing here, you know, they could have Leo, the strong Leo right here. They could have Leo in their chart. Maybe you recently started talking to a Leo and you're not sure about them. Um, because you've had so many duds. I just, this fell out. It's a wish fulfillment. You do have someone who's going to sneak in under your radar. It's a wish fulfillment. You're not sure because of everything you've gone through. For this Aquarius reading, are they going to find the right one? Are they going to make the right choice when this person comes in? Okay. They might be... This person might have also gone through a breakup. All right? I have the Justice card here. Um, this person... Interesting enough... It might be going through something you've already went through. It looks like they're going through maybe a divorce or a breakup. It looks like the person that um, is interested in you or that it could be the one got cheated on as well. So it looks like that they could, they, they could have got cheated on and gone through a breakup, this person. Um, and their stuff just ended quickly, like when a, an affair. So if that's any indication that a person you're talking to or, or starting to get in... Uh, close with or whatever and you're curious if it looks like like they got out of a out of a bad connection here uh, that could be the person but don't don't go based on tarot okay do do your hermit thing do your hermit thing to make your decision because that's what you're really supposed to do this person might not feel like they have a lot to offer because if they go through a divorce they could actually have a loss 
you know, of, of income or something like this. Anyway, let's close out with a bonus card. So weeding out the bad ones, hence the song I channeled. Just give me the night. You're not doing that. Increase your knowledge. Okay, education brings opportunities. Take a course, pick up a book, or find a mentor to teach you what your soul longs to know. And I did see this three of pentacles here. And that can talk about school or, or, or an institution. So you might meet this person at, at some sort of institution or school, but it could be also a place. Anyway, I love you guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next reading, and namaste, my friends.